Well, looky there. It's a squirrely panda. Gosh, that kid loves just she just absolutely loves snow. <laughs> See? It waves at us. <laughs> oh yep. Cat's fed. Shut him up. Hey! What's up? I'm gonna start this off and I just found out last night. A uh, fellow young YouTuber just told me some news. And I'm going to just keep him and, him and his family in prayer. Back on the 26th, he lost his mother. So it's him and his siblings and his dad left. And he's the oldest of the kids. And uh, I just want to... His first name's Kalen. Kalen, I have been thinking of you and keeping you in the prayers and uh, praying that you you and your family can find some comfort in this troubling time. So, But uh, I guess everybody uh, kind of keep Kalen and his family in the prayers. Uh, I won't go into details on what happened. The simple thing is she's gone and they need a lot of spiritual help right now. So, Thinking of you, bud. Oh, hey! Oh, what a day. So far, started out with the One Lonely Farmer uh, viewing on the live chat. That's starting to come a good Saturday thing to do. And listening to him, some of the stuff he says, boy, he's nailing stuff right on the head. And uh, got another friend that I wish he could be in a different situation, and he'd probably be just as good off as One Lonely Farmer, too. But, uh, Hey, well, uh, you know, the wife does pay attention, and so does the wife's friends. How they ever got on the subject the other day was uh, about me fixing stuff and doing stuff. I don't know how I even got brought up. And the wife says, yeah, the husband works on DeWalt, and the other one pipes up. Oh, he does? And she says, yeah. She goes, well, my husband broke his DeWalt drill. He went and bought a new one. We don't want it. You got. You, he, he could have it. So here it is. Wasn't supposed to work. But I think I know what's going on here. So put a battery on it, and uh, it seems to go. And it shifts fine. Well, when, but at the smell. I'm thinking it needs the brushes cleaned or replaced. Our new 18 volt motor. But yeah, that was given to me. Okay. And we now have a mini me. If I can find the. Yep, I found it. You know, I got a friend that's going through college right now. And uh, he's doing some stuff for me. And. Uh, making stuff. Well, everybody's, well, maybe everybody has seen the brass hammer he made me. I really felt bad using it. It's been used. He told me I better use it. I am. I'm using it. Well, he stopped here oh, a couple weeks ago, and he had something. I'm like, oh, man, that that's cool, too. So, well, I told him he had his that he made for himself, and it's this it's a mini version but his handle he didn't knurl it and I sat there and swung his a couple of times with my hands and my grip I said I need the knurling well guess what he made me that one so now let's see we got a baby and a papa hammer custom made for me I mean he's considered a lot of things I told him I like this knurling. He says, yeah, I used a different knurler. That's a lot better. This one on the big hammer. I says, finally took some sandpaper and knocked down the points on it. And that one feels great now. But yeah, so he's made me those. Custom hammers for me. Then the, another new addition is, is this cheap US cellular prepaid phone from Walmart. Ah... Uh, 
I think this phone cost me a whole whopping $22. And uh, the payment plan, and it's unlimited everything. Web, talk, text for 35 or 30 bucks. Which, see, we don't pay full price on that because of where the wife works. So I get it cheaper yet. The reason that phone's here is because this was what was called an iWireless phone. Which now says unregistered because this number has been ported to this phone, but I haven't had the money to turn that phone on. So, but our wireless works worked great here at the house and the farm, but I was running into places where I couldn't go and I had no service. So, and our wireless was more than what this is. They were almost forty dollars a month and see you used to be able to just buy talk and text because I never used the web with this damn thing because or any of my wireless phones because we could never get it to work here well now they've gone to where you uh, all the way you get talking text is you buy the whole damn plan so I'm paying for stuff I can't even use I can't even get a picture message with that phone well like I said I think this phone was like 25 bucks and I'm like what the hell is 25 bucks want to make well with me being diabetic and that and I don't have a phone. I, I've got a phone here on the wall, but it's not turned on. It costs too much. But with me being diabetic, and I'm going out trying to work with stuff to keep making money, I'm getting in the areas where I don't have a phone. And uh, being diabetic and having some passing out spells and that, I need a phone because that, 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 that cell phone, thank God, one day I was crashing out here. I mean, my numbers were dropping. I couldn't get them to come back for nothing. And I called the neighbor. Because he's had experience with a friend that was diabetic and told him what was going on. He said, I'll be right there. And uh, that when he got here, we checked my numbers again. I was down to 62 and I was about out. I don't know what the drink was he brought me. He says, well, he goes, his words was, oh, I may mixed it a little strong. But if I wouldn't have had that phone or a phone, I would have been on the floor. And nobody would have known. Not until they come looking. So, and before anybody says, well, you got a new phone. You know what? $22 for that damn phone wasn't going to cover anything else but that $22 plus. I can dial 911 with it right now. I just can't get any calls on it. But uh, that could be my lifesaver. So, I guess. I guess I am not going to justify what I do or tried to do. Um, as a lot of people said, it's our lives. We get up, do it. What's wrong to some others may be right to us. Hey, if this was a cookie cutter world where everybody did everything the same, it'd be freaking boring. Then there wouldn't be no reason to have all this different stuff. But we're not all made equal, we're not all made the same. And we're not all, we don't all have the same desires, so. But, uh, and one lonely farmer, I mean, he tells it to, tells it straight and keeps it real, and there, there's so much behind the scenes that all I gotta do is make it another year or two, then things will be okay. But, uh, cash rent from a land that I get. The bank had got that tied up for on me for until 2017. Once 2017 gets here, I get my cash rent back every year, and that will help. That will make a big difference. So, but anyway, enough with that shit. We're just going to try and keep it about motors, cars, parts, odd jobs, and some family time. I guess if you don't like that, go. I'm here, and like a couple other people said, this is your channel. You do what you want, when you want, and how you want on your channel. Um, and I'll, the last thing I'm going to say right now is this is, you know, I see these TV commercials to call for help or when you're having troubles and you're just feeling not like yourself. Well, they say somebody out there will listen. Well, that's what it started out. But I guess that 
time in, in my life has faded because uh, I guess it's time to just say, hey, I've talked, I've tried. The listening I got wasn't worth the time. Some of it was. Some of it's been a big help. But uh, if I want to open up about some stuff where at the time I had, I'm watching Squirrel Dig out there, uh, about things, I really don't know where I would be here, where I would be today, if I would be here or not. Because there was a pretty dark time in my life that I, yeah, it wasn't going good. But I made it through it. I'm still here. God let me wake up today. I'm still breathing. I'm still talking. The sun's shining. And the power's still on. Which I still have to figure out how to get that taken care of. Plus the house. I mean, hey. But, uh, yeah, it's just uh, lots of things. So, with that, you know what? Let's get back to what I'm going to be about. A squirrel, a squirrely panda just walked in the building. What's that? Where's that piece of metal that you could use? Uh, a little piece of metal that you could use like that. Let's see. Uh, squirrel wants to. She's never really got to play play in the snow like this, so she's trying to do some digging. And there you go. Use that carefully. Okay, will that work? All right, use it carefully and remember the rules. Whatever you take out, you bring back in. Because, uh, oh, and I got in trouble one time by, by an ant because I told the kids, hey, it's your stuff, you're responsible for it, you take care of it. And they were younger. Oh, my God. That gal acted like I just, she said, they're children. I said, yeah, but they need to learn responsibilities because the comment I made was, you guys got it out of the truck? If you ain't got it in the truck when we leave, that's your problem. Oh, she got so bent out of shape. Now I said, uh, I looked at her and said, I'm trying to teach my kids responsibility. I, I've got enough of my, because I was doing work for an uncle. I said, I got to keep track of all my tools and everything I'm using here. I got to load that up. So why is it fair for me to have to keep track of everything they took out of the truck? Because they, they said, Dad, we're getting in the truck. Fine. I don't know what they grabbed, so how am I supposed to know what they need to pick up to bring home? Oh, uh, she she just thought that was so mean and cruel to do to a child. I'm like, kids got a lot of responsibility sometime. Hey. So, well, uh, the plan is I got some parts here in the chem dip that I left set, soaking again. We got these parts cleaned up. I think what I'm going to do is wash these heads up again, get them all nice and dust free because I can see dust on them. Wash everything down. And um, the plan is to assemble the heads. Uh, I don't know if we'll get to it and tear into this drill and see what is. I mean, it seems to work, but if you can smell. It stinks, so. And I, the snow is melting, that's why squirrel's freaking. She's like, I want to play in the snow. Uh, the other thing is, I gotta get the doors open here, and I gotta get my truck in and get the oil changed. It's gotta be done today, so. With saying I gotta change the oil, I gotta get snow out of the way here, so. All right. Oh, that's, but I, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, let's get busy and get her done, and I guess I am who I am. Don't try changing me, because it's not going to happen. Uh, you know what? Yeah. All right, let's get her done. All right, I'll give you a little slow move
not too much heat out, so all right. Okay, we got the next patient in the shop. He's got the groups. We're gonna see what the codes are. You wanna do a little taping? Okay. Squirrel's trying to warm up. Okay. They supposedly got cold. <laughs> You must have got cold because you're not fighting beating in here. Okay, let's we'll see what we got. I can't read the writing on it. Anymore. I'll read it. That kind of random misfire is back. O2 sensor, O2 sensor, right off, I can get to them. I've got uh, a couple, but... Uh, Where are they at? Underneath, I got a couple laying over there on the bench. I think they should be the same, so... Misfire, huh? Which don't make a lot of sense, because it's got a... The only thing I can think it could be is uh, that time I loosened the distributor and thought I could time it. Maybe I've got it out of time yet. But uh, I'll check the... I'm in here. I just will check the cap and the rotor. Make sure they were bought. Make sure I haven't had issues with those already. Because those ain't that old. Because a friend overseas helped me get that stuff. Um... Alright, well, I'll get it. I'm going to get the oil changed. Oops. Oil changed, and uh, we'll see if we can get the O2 sensor so I've got it up. So, Alright. Okay, here comes one of those times where, oh, you shouldn't buy that because you don't need it. Um, well, I just seen something inside the motor. I'm like, crap, I don't want to tear the upper intake off to get to it. Well, guess what? That's where this DeWalt. Come on. That was working. I'll oh, find out what the heck's going on here. Sure, I go to use it and it's charged. The damn thing still works. It better work. I charged it up. There we go. Oh. See manual for troubleshooting. What the hell? Oh! Hey. Helps if you turn it turn it on. Jesus. Uh da da da. Yes, I forgot to turn it on. Okay. Crystal, you know what you can do to help me? Put your foot on the gas and floor it. And don't start, don't start it, no. That would help me get down in there. Because I happen to look at my intake and it looks awful wet in there. And I'm starting to wonder about my spider. So, this will be the simplest way of doing it. Just push it all the way to the floor. Very good. Yep, hold it for me. Okay, I got a right idea here. Why is that so? Oh, it's not in there. Why is that card not in there? Uh-oh. All right, now I'm going to have to re I might just pull that part of it off. If I can get down in there and get an unobstructed view. Because it looks wet. 
I know you guys can't see it back there, but it looks wet. Not yet. I'll try one more thing. The gas oil don't smell gassy, but that spider looks awful, awful wet. Okay. Hopefully I haven't rattled it. Okay, you can let off now, Crystal. So. I might do a little more investigating there, so that's not good. Oh no. There's supposed to be an SD card in there. It's not in here. Oh no. Well, I don't know if it's going to show up. Oh, They've all got this white stuff on it. Even the old caps I've got around has got that. I want to brush that off, clean it up. I rotor looks good. I grabbed it. I was starting to think uh I'm starting to think I had a distributor girl bad. I've grabbed it. I can't wiggle it. I can't move it. it it's tight so the distributor ain't loose but uh it's already uh, filled up that white crust in there. So, I guess I should have sprang for the brass uh, cap and I don't know why it's doing that, but uh, oh, on the SD card, it was in the uh, little, I put the SD card in its holder inside that, so. I wouldn't lose it. So I'm gonna get my brass brush out, clean up the terminals of this, and uh, put it back together. I mean, the rotor looks good. Nothing looks wrong there, so I guess we'll just clean her up and go with it and get the oil changed. All right. I don't know how that works. She hides in the truck, and now it comes to the fun part, dumping the oil as she comes up. It's down there. Find it, look, quit blocking the camera. Sure it ain't dusty now. Wipe it off. Use one of those white gloves on the chair. Yep. Boy, when I was cussing that oil filter. I'm sure I'm the one I put it on. I'm the one that put it on here, but boy. Oh, well, that's a good sign. I got water on the inside of the ink and uh, cap. That should be good. Different, you can stand up close to it. 
Uh, you might have been standing on it. Ooh, close. That was close. Maybe you were standing on this. Side of the yeah, hold the oil. Can you get it for Get your both hands. Watch your head, yep. I want to let this kid learn. Helps build their muscles. Five quarts, that should take the whole job too. Kind of nice they finally went through this five quart setup. Judge, yes. I just don't have a lot to talk about today. Sorry, guys. Squirrel likes working, and I ain't going to stop her. Whoa, 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 I see the oil dripping. Then when you get down to the empty, you gotta move the jug up. Yeah. Look at that! She didn't spill a whole lot. Just literally a couple of drops. Shop. I can throw it on the floor if I want, right? That's right, ain't it? You want to go grab your glasses? Windy? Well, here you can get in that side. Where's your glasses at? Oh. Oh, I Sounds a little smoother after cleaning the cap. Hey, right, it sounds better. Maybe the cap was getting all that crust on her and you couldn't sport right. But she's not jumping anymore. She's See where it holds you go. I mean, she's not. Okay. Well, I guess we'll consider this done. I'll have her get the hold of the cat and I'll move this thing out. Well, it started here. I noticed something. Didn't think anything about it. And I had found a hose up. It's leaking. But, let's see if I can zoom you in. See that right there? 
That is antifreeze. That is running out the back of the motor. And I just changed oil in this sound bitch to have the intake gaskets go out. At least all the antifreeze is going to the outside. Antifreeze ain't going into the motor. I mean, it's running smooth now. Frickin' frack. Oh, man. That's not good. I'm out of vehicles right now. I'm out of vehicles. All right. Well, that just took the steam out of me. I want to go get the 90. Called the insurance guy. I got to give him a picture of the VIN number for the 90. So switch that over. Hope the 90 continues to run good. So I was kind of having a fit with it, but good thing I dumped all that gas from that Tahoe in here. Oh. Hell, guys, this just <laughs> the camel. Oh, freaking frack. Oh, wait, I ain't supposed to say nothing about what happens to me any personal, huh? Yeah, screw it. Well. Ow. And see you right there, too. I guess having multiple vehicles like this. Um, now I've got something to drive you here. As you know, I don't have a lot to go on, and if we didn't have that, we'd be walking. That's the last time I tried starting the Tahoe. That won't start, so I got to get that around here to see what's going on that. But, yeah, and then when I was changing oil, wrench fell in there. So yeah, I just, just why couldn't that leak before I changed oil? Now I got fresh oil in there, and the chances of me getting that intake off without getting any antifreeze in that motor, zero to none. So there just went that oil. I don't know, it might be simpler to just finish this motor, bring that 97 around, get the tranny that's hiding over there, and this motor together, and put that all in and get that truck running. But that just took the wind out of my sails today, guys. I'm done, and also I think I'm getting in trouble with the diabetes, because I just feel like I'm dropping, so. I'll put the 90 keys in there for now. I guess we're gonna. Yeah, I say squirrel. Still not feeling the greatest, but uh, I guess I'm gonna call this it and go home. Oh yes. To have a vehicle go down on top of having a house payment and electric bills and all that to pay. Which is more money than I could even go to work and get. Because to make the money I need would take, well, three months. But now I really don't have the 90. <laughs> 
got weak brakes, so that's got to be fixed. I was, I was just about ready to pack back the 90 in here, and that was going to be the next project fix that brake line, but I need to go home, find something to eat before I go over backwards. And uh, so now we got to drive it. All right, we're going to get loaded up, get the stuff out of the truck we need, and get the hell out of here. So, till next time, I might need to rename this channel the <laughs> Bad Luck TLC Bear. I mean, jeepers, creepers. Not a clue that truck hasn't. I even checked the radio. I thought, it's the antifreeze now. Antifreeze was topped off. There's still some in the reservoir. And just matter of backing it out the door, <laughs> out the back of the motor. I'm like, really? <laughs> All right, see you guys later.